In football history, Brazil has always been a source of top global talents. From legends like Pelé, Ronaldo, and Ronaldinho to the present day, this tradition continues. Currently, Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo are perhaps the most prominent names, and it is a coincidence that both are Real Madrid players. The Royal Club recognized the potential from this South American country early on and gradually implemented a strategy to acquire talent to build a new generation of players characterized by technical skill and creativity. However, this plan also comes with unpredictable risks. While Brazilian stars like Vinicius and Rodrigo shine brightly at the club level, they face many difficulties maintaining consistent form with the national team. This contradiction has raised questions about the effectiveness of Real Madrid's strategy of recruiting Brazilian players and whether this plan is truly the right direction for the future of the Royal Club. Real Madrid has long recognized the strength of recruiting talent from Brazil, a country that has produced countless great football stars. However, they haven't always followed this path. In fact, Real Madrid has learned a lot from the success of their arch-rival Barcelona in tapping into the Brazilian player market. Notably, after the Neymar transfer in 2013, Barcelona successfully signed Neymar from Santos, one of the most promising stars in the world at the time. Neymar not only brought on-field effectiveness, but also became a global commercial icon, helping Barcelona increase its brand value and international standing. This transfer had a significant impact on how Real Madrid viewed the Brazilian player market. While Real Madrid lost the race with Barcelona to secure Neymar's signature, they began to build a long-term strategy to scout Brazilian stars early on, rather than looking for already established stars. Real Madrid decided to invest heavily in young, talented players, partly to avoid the intense competition like the Neymar deal. The lesson from Barcelona helped Real Madrid shift its mindset from buying aging stars to recruiting young Brazilian talents, exemplified by Vinicius and Rodrigo, who joined Real Madrid when they were under 20. Real Madrid not only learned from the Neymar deal, but also went further by developing a comprehensive recruitment strategy with long-term goals. This is evident from their signing of Vinicius from Flamengo in 2018, and soon after, Rodrigo from Santos, two of Brazil's most promising young talents at that time. It is noteworthy that Real Madrid signed these players when they were very young, only 17 to 18 years old. This strategy not only helps Real Madrid reduce the pressure of spending huge amounts of money on established superstars, but also allows the club to develop talents in line with their football philosophy. Real Madrid can nurture players like Vinicius and Rodrigo in the professional environment of La Liga and the Champions League, while ensuring they have enough time to develop and adapt to European football. Clearly, at this point, the strategy is bearing fruit. A key figure in Real Madrid's strategy for recruiting young Brazilian players is Juni Calafat, the club's head scout. He was instrumental in scouting and successfully signing Vinicius and Rodrigo and leading Real Madrid's long-term development strategy in the Brazilian market. Calafat's presence not only helped Real Madrid access talent early, but also established close relationships with Brazilian clubs, thereby minimizing competition from other clubs. Calafat has not only stopped at Vinicius and Rodrigo, but also helped Real Madrid sign Endrick, another promising young talent from Palmeiras. Endrick is expected to become a major star in the future. The strategy of investing in young Brazilian players not only provides sporting benefits, but is also a smart financial move. The Brazilian player market consistently produces valuable talents, and signing these players early helps Real Madrid avoid intense competition from other major clubs. Moreover, if young players like Vinicius or Rodrigo develop in the right direction, they could become world-class stars and help Real Madrid earn substantial profits from both their performance and commercial value. In fact, Vinicius has already proven this by becoming one of the most important players for Real Madrid, helping the club win La Liga and the Champions League. Vinicius' speed, technical skills, and impact on the game have made him a new icon in world football. 
reaffirming the effectiveness of Real Madrid's strategy of recruiting young Brazilian players. Compared to earlier periods when Real Madrid primarily focused on acquiring established superstars like Ronaldo or Kaká, the club's current strategy represents a clear shift. They no longer spend huge sums of money on players who are at the peak of their careers, but instead invest in young players with great potential. This not only helps Real Madrid save costs, but also provides a long-term competitive advantage as they can develop their own stars. The strategy of recruiting Brazilian players is a crucial part of Real Madrid's journey to build a competitive squad. However, not all Brazilian transfers have been successful. Alongside the bright successes of Vinicius and Rodrigo, Real Madrid has also faced some notable failures. Particularly, there is an interesting paradox where the form of these stars at Real Madrid is very high, but they have not been able to perform to expectations when playing for the Brazilian national team. One notable example of Real Madrid's failure with Brazilian signings is the Kaká transfer. When Real Madrid signed Kaká in 2009, he was at the peak of his career and recognized as one of the best players in the world. However, Kaká's time at Real Madrid was not as successful as anticipated. Persistent injuries and fierce competition from other players in the squad prevented Kaká from asserting his position at Santiago Bernabeu. Despite some dazzling moments, Kaká never regained the top form he had at AC Milan. This led to much criticism and regret from fans. Another unsuccessful transfer was Lucas Silva, a young midfielder signed by Real Madrid from Cruzeiro in 2015. Lucas Silva was once considered one of Brazil's most promising young talents in the central midfield position. However, health issues and the pressure of playing for a club like Real Madrid prevented him from showcasing his best abilities. After a short time in Spain, Lucas Silva faded into obscurity and was no longer valued by Real Madrid. In contrast to these failures, Real Madrid has also achieved many successful deals with Brazilian stars. Vinicius and Rodrigo are the prime examples of how Real Madrid has turned young Brazilian talents into world-class stars. Despite criticisms regarding finishing ability and inconsistency, Vinicius has established himself with impressive performances, particularly in the 2021 to 2022 season. He played a crucial role in Real Madrid's Champions League victory, scoring the decisive goal in the final against Liverpool. Rodrigo has also shown significant progress with impressive performances in La Liga and the Champions League, reinforcing faith in Real Madrid's strategy of recruiting young Brazilian players. In conclusion, Real Madrid's strategy of recruiting young Brazilian players has proven its effectiveness through examples like Vinicius and Rodrigo. Although there have been unwanted failures, the success of these players shows that investing in young talent from Brazil can yield positive results both on and off the field. Real Madrid has learned from past failures and adjusted its strategy to ensure it continues to maintain a leading position in world football.